Hey guys, I'm the 50s kid. Behind me is a 2001 Kia Sportage and it's got some idling problems. It idles pretty roughly, although it does run really well. Um, I, I, I'm not exactly sure why this is at this point, but one of the things I want to do is I want to go in and clean out the idle air control valve and clean out the throttle body because those, the, doing that, it's kind of, uh, it's a pretty good sort of tune up thing you can do on a modern fuel injected vehicle and those things get dirty. You lose throttle response and the idle could get a little messy. So, uh, I'm just going to go in and clean those things out and see if that improves anything. So at this point, I'm going to proceed to remove uh, the components of the intake uh, system. I'll disconnect, I'll loosen this hose clamp here, take off the bracket here, remove these three bolts. I'll disconnect basically some hoses, take off the resonator. There's a bolt here. I've, I've covered these things in, 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 in my valve cover gasket video, so I'm not going to do it all again in this video, but uh, th this is all pretty easy and straightforward to, to kind of figure out. So. Okay, so here's the intake runner that's now loose from the intake, uh, from the throttle body right here. And this is actually the idle air control valve here. Basically, I can feel inside that you can see that there are, see that there are two ports here, one and two, right? I can feel that the lower one is actually going through into the intake runner. And so basically this is a valve which lets air come through the valve and then enter here, back through here, and then it runs through a chamber inside, inside the actual throttle body and eventually exits right here. And then that actually bypasses the throttle body. So that's how the engine's able to get idle air and that's how it's, it's able to regulate its idle speed when uh, you're not actually opening up the throttle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the, the idle air control valve from the intake runner here. I'm going to clean it out. I'm also going to clean the throttle body right here. Um, I can't actually remove the throttle body from the dynamic resonance chamber. I've already tried removing these two nuts, but it didn't seem to do anything. I suspect that uh, it's actually, there, there are more fasteners coming through from the back and you have to take the whole dynamic chamber off the vehicle in order to get it off. So. Rather than go that route, I'm just going to clean the throttle body that I, the part of the throttle body that I see here, put this back on, see if that changes anything. If that does, hey, I got away with it. If not, I'll proceed a step further. So I'm using throttle body and air intake cleaner. The only thing that's different between this and carburetor cleaner is that this has toluene in it, which is uh, which is actually good. So it's got some extra stuff, cleans a little bit better. wipe things off. Believe it or not, just giving things a good clean actually does help a lot of the times. It gives you a better throttle response. So this does help. Remove these two screws here. Oh, looks like I can't get that one. I can get that one, but not enough room to bite on that one. Screwdriver for that one. This is a number three Phillips. Cool, that gasket uh, is not causing me issues. Sometimes paper gaskets can stick to one thing and, or can stick to both things, I should say. So this is just, it's, it's basically just a, a, a magnetic, uh, it's, it's a motor basically. And it just actuates and this valve turns and opens and, and allows more air in there. And you can see it's dirty. Going to clean that too. Sometimes you can actually take these apart, like on a Honda that I did. I was able to take the valve apart and pull the inner valve out and kind of clean it up, but it doesn't look like that's possible. This looks like this is just a sealed unit. So, so looks good. I'm just going to install it back onto the. Th I'll, I'll probably clean in there as well. It looks a little dirty.
So that'll be our cleanup unit right there. Well, I have everything put back together now. Let's see how I did. Well, it seems to run. And now I'm gonna take it for a test drive and see how it drives and idles while it's driving. I just got back from a test drive and wow, it's like a huge improvement. The idle's still not perfect, but it's definitely better. And what's more, before um, I had to put my foot all the way down before this thing would downshift. And now when I put my foot down just a little, it'll downshift and it feels like it's got so much power. You know, it's, it's like no longer a granny vehicle. So definite improvement here. And you know, if you have a fuel injected vehicle, this is definitely an improvement that I would suggest you do. Thanks for watching.